Hi, and welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to take a look at the new non-AOS virtual infrastructure monitoring and how we can get that set up and what all is included in the 2020.9 release as a part of this new feature. So the first thing we're going to do is navigate from the menu over to operations and we're going to go to the integrations page. So it's possible that this page might look slightly different for you. I've actually already enabled the monitoring integrations feature here. For you, it may ask you to do some additional setup steps like adding some CPU and memory resources to the Prism Central. But once that's done, uh, you'll just go ahead and click the Get Started button and you're ready to set up some integration. So we're gonna click over here on this Configure Instance button and the type of integration we'd like to configure is that vCenter um, entity type. So we'll leave that there. So I'll fill out the uh, IP address and the credentials here and I'm gonna hit test connection. All right, so now that that's successful, I'm ready to go ahead and configure this entity for monitoring. So I'm just gonna hit next. And so now what I'd like to do is pick the clusters that I'd like to monitor here. Um, and I have quite a few clusters here, but I know that I would like to monitor this specific one, the vCenter Collector 2. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you can actually set up a number of clusters there for this demo. I'm just setting up one. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to wait for the, the data collector to get set up there. And it looks like that has successfully completed. So now let's go ahead and take a look at what we can get. Uh, once we've already set up this uh, integration. I'm actually going to switch to a different Prism Central where I've had this cluster configured for some time now. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to the VMs view just so we can see all the VMs that are configured in this cluster that I've just set up. And you'll notice a new tab here. Uh, previously we just had the Nutanix VMs all showing, but now that we're monitoring non-AOS, non-Nutanix VMs, uh, we have this new tab here. So we can click that and we can see all of the VMs that I'm monitoring that are in that cluster that I had set up. So we'll just pick one of them. And we can see here that we're already getting uh, details that are coming from the vCenter collector. And we can also take a look at the metrics for this VM. So we can see that this VM is not very interesting. It's got a CPU usage hanging around 4%. And we can also see that we're able to do same machine learning that Prism does for the on-prem infrastructure metrics. It's also able to do here uh, so we can start uh, doing the behavior learning on the, the CPU usage metric and other metrics here. The other things that we can do, we have the ability to configure the custom alerts. I can configure a custom alert policy here for CPU usage in this case for vCenter VMs. You can say, you know, they exceed 90%, then send me an alert. I, what I can also do is I have the ability to compare these metrics on the analysis page. So if I go ahead and click the add to analysis button, um, it will add it into the analysis page here. And what we can do now, we can add this in here and we can also go uh, check out things like the clusters. So we can also get the, uh, the usage added for the vCenter cluster and uh, we could all even add in the hosts here so we can start getting a, a, a view across that environment for troubleshooting. We have the ability to view the VMs, hosts, clusters, and the data stores currently in this release. In the future, we plan to extend the machine learning we're doing on these metrics that are coming from the non-Nutanix clusters to also uh, do the calculation for the capacity runway as well as the VM efficiency detection. Thanks for watching this video about our non-Nutanix virtual monitoring and stay tuned for more episodes on how to make your IT operations efficient.